Hello my friends, my name is Forge and welcome to a brand new add-on showcase. So today we're going to be looking at the Ferniecraft add-on that was made by Robert Gamer. And this is basically an add-on that introduces a bunch of different types of furniture into your game. So if you wanted to go and decorate your houses, or you wanted to go and use this inside your creative builds, then you can go ahead and do that. And the best part is, you can get them in survival mode. So right behind me, I do have the chest. And this is only going to require you to get one item if you want to craft them. And so, let's go and look inside of this right now. And also, there will be a link down below in the description if you do want to go ahead and get this add-on. And as you can see, we got ourselves the Ferniecraft Clay. And it's only crafted by a piece of red dye, blue dye, and green dye. Now, to get blue dye, you basically have to go ahead and put in a cornflower. Or you need to go and put in a, a piece of lapis into a crafting grid. And then you get access to that. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and grab this. And we place this right here. And as you can see, we can also craft the Ferniecraft NPC. Which if you wanted to go and use that inside your builds, then you can go and do that. We can now go and craft pretty much everything that's part of this. And so if you want to, you can get yourself some colorful balloons. You can make yourself a gumball machine. Or you can make yourself be like a nice little table. I mean, it's pretty much up to you. But this is still really, really cool. And I can definitely see a lot of people using this within their own builds. Especially their modern base builds. But anyway, we're going to go and start with the outside stuff. Because this isn't everything that you can find outside. This is really cool stuff. So we got ourselves tables. We got chairs. We've got ourselves some wonderful gravestones. And we've also got ourselves a nice painting with a flower. But also you can find yourself like the Mona Lisa and a few other ones. We also got ourselves a really cool swing. But unfortunately you're not able to swing back and forth. I think it would be really cool if you could do that, but you know what, that's not a thing. There's also going to be a bunch of different benches that you can use inside your builds. Coming inside of here, we have ourselves our kitchen. Now, this is where we start the interior, and I tell you what right now, there is a lot more interior stuff than there's actual outside stuff. But coming inside of here, you can actually see right away that you can make a decent looking kitchen. We have ourselves a little stove, we have pizza that's been left out from last night. I actually would not want to eat that because it's been there all night long yet again. We also got ourselves a cutting board. Plus we got ourselves a gumball machine. But Sally, you cannot take any gumball out of there. I think it would be pretty cool if you could actually get yourself a coin. Then you put that coin inside of there. And then you get yourself a gumball's food. I think that would be really awesome. We also got ourselves a working fridge. And by working, I mean that you can actually store things out of there. So right now, I am freezing my Ferniecraft clay. I mean, why not? I'm going to use that later on. And if I aim for the very bottom, if you wanted to for some odd reason, you can actually sit inside of there. So if you remember in the Crystal Skull for Indiana Jones, he sat in a refrigerator when it got blown up. You can definitely go and do that if you wanted to inside the game. Even though I think that you'd probably get blown up and not be flown across the world. Okay, just keep that in mind. But anyway, if I go ahead and look inside the stove, you can also go ahead and cook stuff inside there. So you can go ahead and cook up some chicken. You can cook up beef, some cod. So pork chops, rabbit, salmon, or even mutton. So I think that's a really great addition. Now for this light bulb, I actually could not figure out about how to get the light bulb to work. So if you can figure that out, then please let me know down below in the comments. We got ourselves some sinks. Now for the sinks, you can store things out there if you wanted to. We have ourselves a little blender. And by the way, this is actually from one entity, which is actually going to be like a covered. So if I go ahead and break this really quickly, and I go and place it down, it's going to be different every time you go and place it down, which, which I think is just really cool. So as you just saw, we did get ourselves a hamburger, we got ourselves another cutting board, and then we got ourselves another hamburger. We also got ourselves this microwave. Now the microwave can also be used in the same fashion as the stove, so it's just a nice little alternative. We have ourselves a little toaster, which is also from that same covered thing. We have ourselves a barrel, which you can get yourself an empty barrel, or you can get yourself a full barrel by empty, I mean like a closed barrel right there. We have ourselves a nice little table, which if you're wondering, I actually just combined four of the smaller tables that I added outside of here. And I just went ahead and put them all into one to make a big table, which it actually makes a really cool little design. And plus you can go stand on it if you really wanted to. Coming inside of the living room, we have ourselves a nice little area that we can sit on. So I really do like this couch quite a bit. It's pretty cool. I have a little gaming area with a nice little computer. And you can even look inside the computer and see that there is a GeForce RTX side there. It's all ready to play some Minecraft RTX, which isn't even out yet. So I have a feeling that this person got an early version, but there's also a nice little gaming keyboard with a nice little Minecraft mouse. Why isn't there a Minecraft mouse that looks like that? 
I would definitely get that. That's pretty cool. And you can go and sit on this gaming chair and just go and enjoy some Minecraft. Yeah, we, right now we have ourselves Mindception. We're playing Minecraft inside of Minecraft. Oh my goodness. Uh, but anyway, we have ourselves a foose table, which I remember I used to play foosball all the time with my stepdad years and years ago. But just look at this. This is a really cool design for a foosball table. And I kind of wish that there was a Minecraft design for foosball. We have ourselves some zombies versus the husks. I mean, I think that'd be pretty cool. But in reality, we know that this was a thing. It would probably be more along the lines of Alex versus Steve. That's probably what it would be. But we also got ourselves a nice little pool table so we could place ourselves some pool. I never was very good at pool when I was younger. But we got ourselves a nice little Christmas tree so you can go ahead and put presents underneath there. As a matter of fact, I think there are presents that you can go ahead and get within this add on. I just actually didn't put them down inside there. We have ourselves a nice little area which we can go ahead and get ourselves some trophies. And I really do like the trophy designs. They're pretty cool, but you can also go ahead and get yourself different kinds. So if I go and place this right here, say we've got ourselves a golden one, for example, another golden one. We have ourselves an emerald one. We have ourselves a few different skins as well that you can go and find, which I really, really do like this. And we're going to go and look at this because this is a sword in the ground. And yeah, so you can actually go ahead and put this, maybe it's not like a rock or wherever you may want to go ahead and put this in. But I think that this is just really cool. We have ourselves a piano, which the piano cannot be used. I think it would be pretty cool if you could use the piano, but sadly you cannot. We have ourselves a clock, which is actually going to be a painting. For the actual paintings in Minecraft, they have been replaced with these new paintings. And I actually think that the new paintings look really cool. We have ourselves one of a lighthouse. We have another one that's like it's of a jungle with a parrot. And maybe that's like a bear or some kind of other creature, I'm not sure. It might just be a rock, I just don't know. It's also going to be that forest painting, and plus you can go ahead and get ourselves these TVs. Which the TVs, they look really cool as well. So you can go ahead and find yourself all the apps that you want to. For example, I want to go ahead and go to YouTube. Okay, it looks like it's not going to work, because the TV is not even real. We have all the Pac-Man machine, and the Pac-Man machine can't even be played. Oh my goodness, I mean, look at this. This is just really cool. And it looks like that score is 311. Now right here we have ourselves a nice little cover so we can go ahead and put in all of our different armor pieces or just whatever we want. And you can actually go ahead and open it up and you can go and put things inside of there. Which I think is really awesome. But anyway, we also got ourselves another table right here. Which you can actually walk right through it. I kind of wish that it wasn't a walkthrough table. I kind of wish that it was like a table that you could just go ahead and stand on. Like for the other ones. We have ourselves another top of couch design. But we also got ourselves one more chair design by the way which is right over here. This is going to be like one of those smaller chairs. Let's get ourselves a little baby crib. There is actually going to be like a fan that you can turn off or on. So in order to do that, you just have to go and crouch and then you go ahead and just tap on there if you're on mobile or you just go ahead and right click if you're on Windows 10 just to go ahead and activate that, which is really awesome. We have ourselves our bathroom. So yet again, we have ourselves some paintings around the area. We have ourselves some sinks. We have the toilet, which you cannot actually flush or anything like that. So all that bad stuff is going to stay on top. Not very good at all. I can't wish that you can flush that because it kind of stinks. We have ourselves a little bathtub. Plus we got ourselves a little shower as well. Which yet again you actually cannot use. So you know what? I'm actually going to go and turn it back on. Because it is getting a little bit hot inside this room. So there we go. So anyway, that is pretty much it for what I wanted to show you with this add-on. This is really, really awesome. And if you want to go ahead and use this inside your builds, or maybe your modern builds, or whatever you might be using this for, then you know what? You can definitely go ahead and do that. But I do want to hear your thoughts on what you think of this add-on down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed today's video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. I think that Robert the Gamer did a really great job, and hopefully you'll continue to update this. And one thing I want to see him do is maybe like introduce... Maybe like some more consoles. And the one thing I would really love them to introduce is maybe like some console design. But I do want to hear your thoughts or what you think of this down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed today's video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day and I will catch you next time. Bye!